police headquarters. But wait, someone's sneaking in through the locker room window. Why, it's Father Time. No, it's Father Time Bum. This hourglass is a bum. When the weight of the sand pushes this plunger, the dynamite will explode. But why bomb police headquarters? Because with the police out of the way, I'll have the crime of my life. Police headquarters, the chief speaking. This is Father Time Bomb. I just planted a bomb somewhere in the city, and it's set to go off at 12 noon. And the reason I'm telling you is, I don't want anyone else to get the credit. The hotline. That fake here. That fake? Father Time Bomb planted a bomb somewhere in the city, and it goes off in half an hour. We must find Father Time Bomb and make him tell us where it is. It's no use, Karate. This is a bomb shelter, and that door is solid plutonium. Nothing stops Karate! <laughs> I hate to ruin a nice plutonium door. I've got to get inside and force Father Time Bomb to tell me where the time bomb is planted. The chimney. You'll have to wait outside, Karate. Bat Fink. You're under arrest, Father Time Bomb. Father Time Bomb will never do time. Your scythe cannot harm me. My wings are like a shield of steel. Who's gonna cut your wings? And now for Batfink's untimely, timely finish. Batfink is up to his neck in trouble, and there doesn't seem to be any hope. As the sand keeps running in, that thing's time is running out. There's only six minutes left to find the time bomb. I've got to get inside somehow and tell that thing. Hey, you're stopping time. And that's all the time I needed to revive. You're under arrest, Father Time Bomb! And now we'll take you to police headquarters and force you to tell us where you hid the bomb. No, take me anywhere but there. That's where I hid it. And it's going off in five minutes. We'll get there in four minutes. Karate the Battle Act. The time bomb is now rendered safe, Chief. And Batfink never would have gotten here if Karate hadn't saved his life. Karate, congratulations for using your head. But I didn't use my head. at the secret laboratory of Hugo Ogogo. I just pulled off my greatest robbery. Not the crown jewels. That's right. Not the crown jewels. A hubcap from Batfink's battle act. You robbed Batfink? Uh-huh. You're under arrest, Hugo Ogogo. The hubcap from my battle act cannot harm me. My wings are like a shield of steel. I'll save you, Batfink. I'm through fooling around with you, Batfink. 
Black Pink. This time, no more Mr. Nice Guy. This is it. You are hermetically sealed in a plutonium dome, which even you cannot break. And this is a super plutonium implosion bomb. You'll get out of it, Fat Pink, won't you? I'm afraid not, Karate. This must be the end. My entire life is flashing before my eyes. Just what I wanted. Now I can try out my newest invention. The mind-reading thought projector. Oh, boy! Movies! Yes, that Fink's life is flashing before his eyes, and that's what we'll see. I live with my mother in an abandoned plutonium cave. Right at the beginning, I discover I am not just an ordinary baby bat. The plutonium radiation was giving me superpowers. One day, two escaped criminals show up at the cave. Look, a perfect hideout. I'm scared of bats. We'll get rid of her. I'm playing at the base of the mountain. When I look up, and see my dear old mother plummeting to the rocks. Nearby, a young boy is chopping wood. Yay! That's me! You broke my fall. He also broke his wings! Karate takes me to his father, the blacksmith, who works for weeks forging new wings for me. Wings of steel. That Fink, promise me you will dedicate your life to the vanquishing of vile villains. Boo! I promise, Mother. Rotten picture! We just saw the beginning of your life, Bat Fink. Now we are going to see the end. This is the end of the Bad Fink story. Bad Fink was a brave and dedicated vanquisher of vile villains, and... And he still is! Look! But... but how? The bomb alone would have destroyed me. But the bomb and the plutonium dome, fused with my own plutonium radiation, made me temporarily indestructible. The plutonium fused with the other plutonium and... Uh... Don't bother to figure it out, Hugo. He'll always vanquish vile villains like you, no matter what you dream up. You will? Of course. Don't you remember? I promised my mother.